Okay, welcome everybody. Welcome to the Great Southern Billiards Tour in Sanford, North Carolina. I'm David King. In the booth with me again is Alvin Nelson. The ever-present host. Here to do a match today, or this evening I should say, to a personal friend of mine uh, from Raleigh, North Carolina, Chris Ballmer. And another friend of mine, uh, Jackson Jeffries, uh, also known as uh, Smokey. Smokey. Go with the opening lag. Well, we'll see if Chris has learned from this table and what it does and what it does not do. Jackson's been hitting balls around here for a few minutes here, so. I'll tell you what, Jackson plays really solid. He uh, won the Junior National Championships uh, last right. year, 16 years old. Nice. Uh, an excellent player. Uh, plays out of the Brass Tap in Raleigh, North Carolina. Yeah, I was just there a few weeks ago. This is uh, Chris Vollmer. Oh, okay. Yeah, Chris is a real nice guy. I like him. Yes, he it's is. Cool. Uh, Chris and I did some work together uh, for you at uh, Goldsboro. Absolutely. The, uh, tour Championship. Uh, sure did. Had a great time. That's right. Yeah, that, that was great. Yeah, he uh, tried to help us with the internet stuff and Smart guy. To wish both these, both these players the uh, best of luck. Uh, this table is playing uh, quite rough right now. It's very fast. It's almost like the rails are spring loaded. Yes, sir. They are fast. It, one little bump and you're taking off. Now, what's the race to? Uh, this is going to be a 9 7 race. Chris is going to go to 9, and Jackson is going to go to 7. Come up dry on the break. Uh, doesn't appear that Chris has a uh, open shot. He's going to elect to either push out or play some sort of a save here. Well, it's been a long day, Alvin. Started it's been off a very the, long uh, day. Great little uh, pre-Christmas uh, dinner, we lunch, sure did. whatever you'd like to call it. And Absolutely. We want to thank Shannon and Marge for that. Also, uh, Jimmy Bullis, the uh, yep. proprietor of this uh, pool room. Excellent place here in Sanford. This is uh, one of my favorite uh, stops in the Great Southern Billiard Tour. Had, uh, a lot of success here. Yeah, everything's going good. Not sure what he was doing there, but. I think he was actually trying to play some sort of a safe there. Two ball didn't really have a pocket. Uh, coming back down forward been rather difficult. Well, said, this table that nice. is not easy right now. It's a uh, double shim gold crown. Uh, and it is lightning fast. You just played on this. Uh, actually, I did. Uh, you played, Chris, actually, two uh, matches ago. I commentated on it. We, uh... You played sort real of a, good, man. A shaky match. Uh, we both missed a lot of balls. Uh, yeah, you were more. Uh, you were more stable. Chris was jumping real bad. Chris is a very fast player. He's too. Yeah. That's how he gets into his rhythm. He's rough around the edges, but he plays real solid foundation-wise. Now this match, it seems like he's more in his element. And he's smoothing out a little bit. He's still playing way too fast, in my opinion. I just see that amplify. Little mistakes amplify big time with fast players. Yes, it does. Uh, Chris missed the seven ball there. Uh, he's actually not left uh, Jackson a shot. These guys are both freaking out, man. They're both fast as hell. Oh. And what a nice shot by Jackson Jeffries. Yeah. It has definitely been a long day at night. Yes, it has. I long have, uh, five days, three, four days. Now. <laughs> Not quite that many. I've been on the tournament trail for quite some time now. and Time just start kind of stands still. 
Yeah, I'm you're looking your- forward to a, a nice little break. Um, spend some time with the family. Uh, my girlfriend as well. Uh, yeah. She's actually here with me. At, uh, supporting me 100%. Uh, awesome. Give a nice shout out to Naomi, who's around the pool room somewhere. Yeah, I couldn't do it without you, babe. That's it. Now Chris is going to have the break here. He's playing the right. He knows he learned the cut break at a medium speed is at this table's best friend. Now you were monster breaking and getting some. You were getting lucky, and things are going your way because you just you know how to do it. But this table likes the cut break at a medium speed. This table. You can see uh, the lines dug into the table. Oh, absolutely. And you could see where the wing balls are going. Uh, it likes the cut break. I mean, you can tell. I'm not sure if the carom is on here. Uh, I think he's just going to try to park him on the back of the nine ball. It's funny watching this, these matches over and over and over again. You see what works and what doesn't. As far as rail, certain pockets that are bad. It's funny, man. Well, the table is not loose by no means. It is a uh, double shim table. At Michael's the other week. This pocket right here, the lower right was hand pocket. Brutal. Was brutal. <laughs> that thing was rattling on everybody. It was the only pocket, man, that was bad. I don't know. So, yeah, you learn by watch. It's funny when you sit there and stare at this. The, the only thing that never changes is the table. So... The players all change, the balls all change, everything changes. The table never changes through the whole video production. So you learn the table from watching it. Well, we need to let our viewers know out there is these lights that are set up here are not your uh, typical uh, table light. Right. Um, there are quite a few uh, extra lights that are able to bring you this uh, stream with such clarity. And they heat the table up excessively. And it is raining outside. It's been raining uh, for the past couple days. Yeah, Earl would hate this setup. Uh, he would have some, uh, he'd be missing some hair right now, I think. Uh-huh. Uh, he likes when everything's dry and dried out. And that's a nice shot there by Chris. It's going to come down a little bit far. You can always play a great save off a nice shot. If you miss. And he went for the cross side. Hey, and he was rewarded. Yeah, he's more in his element in this match, I think. No, he's, he's got a backwards cut. Line yeah, here. he's no good here. He's no good. He's I no like good. a little bit of high English cutting this ball in. He went for the safe, and that's going to bounce close to in front of the pocket. He's getting speedy, a little too speedy. See that speed? It catches up to you. And don't think for a minute that a player of Jackson's caliber will not get out when there's two balls left on the table in that position. Uh, he's come a little far, but yeah, I look he's way to make too this far. Ball. Yeah, I don't like going for the bank there like no, that. No, I like going ahead and cutting that ball in. Yeah. Um, these two are both playing excessively fast. I think they're hyper because they're on the TV table. And, uh, well... It gotta change your mental. Jackson has seen the spotlight before uh, in the Junior Nationals. I'm sure he likes it. Uh, Chris has uh, seen the spotlight. Uh, well, he saw it with me earlier today. Uh, I don't believe he's ever been on the stream before. He so was well, on, actually he was uh, in Goldsboro and he got uh, destroyed by Larry Neville. But it wasn't his fault. <laughs> Larry was just in one of those moods. Larry punished me in that tournament, particular tournament. He's so good. On man. that table as well. He's so good. On the, in his element, he's just an incredible player. I was super impressed. Well, I'll tell you a him. thing with Larry, and that's what I've learned over the years. If he's playing a player, if he's got a little bit of edge over the player, that he free wills better than any human, I believe. Yeah. He yeah. fired balls in on me like he wasn't worried about me a bit. Uh, and But Shannon beat him. 
Oh, Shannon Dolan is much he, more seasoned than Larry Shannon Neville. Shannon is, uh, he's an incredible player, man. I think he is, uh, well, Shannon's always been my favorite player. Always. He's always been in my top five, for sure. And he's sitting right behind me, so <laughs> that's pretty cool. He's trying to sell a cue right now, so. Yeah, we're not going to disturb him to have him talk to y'all, but we'll, we'll get him in there to talk. I'm going to send the microphone over to him because, uh, his voice is uh, way more important than mine, i tell you that much. <laughs> Especially at this, this is his, uh, this is his tournament here, the Great Southern Billiard Tour, and you can go to thegreatsouthernbilliardtour.com and check out everything that he's got going on. Him and Marge, his better half. Nice shot there inside by Jackson. They put on great events, though, you know? Yes, they do. And Speakeasy's here. This place is pretty cool. This place is phenomenal. Yeah, it's really cool, man. If any of you are out there in the Raleigh, Sanford, Durham area, take a little bit of extra time. Even if you don't like pool, don't play pool, take a little extra time and come by and uh, see Jimmy Bullis. Uh, he'll give you a nice tour of his place. Dog, that ball. That's very uncharacteristic like of uh, Chris Fulmer. Man, that uh, Jackson's gonna take a break for a second here, and he'll be back to the table. That's a smart move. That's a smart move. Let's let everybody know our uh, score is one to one. Let's, uh, we're going to go ahead and run a commercial real quick while we got a quick second here. All right, we'll be right back with you guys out there. Stay tuned. Oh, I stand corrected. And Jackson's back at the table. We're going to stay in our world here. This is our world, Dave. Everybody else is just visiting. Just visiting. So, Alvin, when am I going to see you play in one of these tournaments? I really don't play that much pool. I just, I video, done the video for over 10 years. I did the first ever live internet stream tournament. Uh, and I've watched, I've done this and watched players play so much that I know why they miss. I know before they miss, as I can tell. And... You know, I can play a little bit, but you know, I wouldn't. I don't want to over talk myself. I, I'm more of a. Uh, I've learned from watching, and I'm a good. I, I analyze the uh, situation fairly well from my other experience too. You can learn a lot from doing what we're doing right now. Yeah. Oh yeah. Absolutely. I mean, and at first, the first ten years, I only filmed and watched the top 20 players, and got to know the top, very top echelon of players. And now I'm filtering down into the up and coming players and these other local guys that maybe don't tour the pro tour but are really good, like, you know, Brian and, uh, you know, a couple people here and there. You're quite a good player, too. You're on your way up. <laughs> Thank you. No problem. But, uh, you know, you deserve that. But, uh, yeah, I, I, I mainly watch the top players and I learned why they missed, and it was very rare that they missed. But it always came down to a few simple things. And uh, so there it is. I'll but, tell you what, we're definitely watching uh, two up-and-coming players here. These guys uh, are shooting really good. Jackson has a wonderful career ahead of him. Uh, 16 years old. Just an all-around nice kid, too. Uh, I really can't even really call him a kid because he composes and holds himself like a man. He's an absolute gentleman, and Chris Palmer is as well. I, I spent a lot of time with Chris and uh, his yeah. girlfriend, Lauren. Good guy. Um, pretty much live in the same area. And yeah, actually, you just moved down here, didn't you? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. From uh, Cincinnati. Cincinnati. It's really cold there. Yeah, I'm going back on Monday. Really? Yeah, for, I have an appointment. Oh, yeah. you got to go back this soon? Yeah. Oh, I'm just uh, catching a plane. 
you're gonna. Oh, I heard it was really expensive. It was. Uh, it was very expensive. Uh, I should have booked it a lot sooner. Why don't you just drive, man? You know, I just took the drive here when I went back to pick up my car. <laughs> Driving it, back and forth is brutal. Isn't oh, it? it was. I've been doing it for three months now. Something like oh, that. you two months. That you have. Uh, I've been driving all over the freaking place. I just honestly, for what I'm gonna go do, which I'm not gonna discuss. Yeah, I really, yeah, yeah. I really yeah. don't want to be in driving that. I got gotcha. you. That for 12 hours straight. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna be kind of weak. I got gotcha. you. Well, uh, best luck with that. Going back to the snow, the cold. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I'll be uh, back there myself. I live in Cleveland, probably one of the coldest places in America, at least. One, you know, it's, got it's definitely up there. Very, very cold there. I grew up in the Akron area. and Famous it, Starcher's Billiards. Yep, and uh, I grew up playing at Starcher's Billiards. And uh, I actually am from a place called Hartville, Ohio, which is kind of by Akron Canton, between Akron Canton, and it's cold there, but then I moved to Cleveland this past year, and I live right on Lake Erie, and it's absolutely Arctic. Like the my dad spent a lot of time out on that lake with uh, wow. my grandfather when we uh, were younger, Arctic. before my time, and I hear a lot of great stories about it, a lot of great fishing stories. Uh, Jackson Jeffries is going to take the lead in this match, two games to one. That he is. And remember out there, everybody, uh, Jackson's only going to six. And to Chris is, six. Or seven, I'm sorry. And uh, Chris is going to nine. Oh, we want to thank... Uh, PoolPlayerExcuses.com and TheCutShot.com. So check out TheCutShot.com. One of our mini sponsors. There are so many great ones out there. Uh, it's amazing all the people that actually get involved with this now and. This is the way, man. These advertisers, they need to realize that these uh, videos are, have many views over time. It's a, it's a long-term advertising tool. You know, the, it just doesn't last during the event. The YouTube videos, which you can go to our YouTube channel at Inside Pool Mag, which I'm sure a lot of you are subscribers, but if not, Inside Pool Mag on YouTube. And those videos get thousands and thousands and thousands of hits over the years, over a year. And they're going to continue because somebody's always going to remember a great match or a specific match and say, hey, you know what, I want to watch that match. Right. And they can go and click right on it and then scroll down, find what they're looking for, and view it. Uh, I do it quite often uh, on my smartphone. Uh, I'll get bored at night and can't fall asleep. And I'm like, why not uh, pop in a little match real quick? And, so yep. much easier I than uh, having to buy a DVD or a, a video cassette. Well, I watch these matches over, you know, sometimes to see what kind of errors that I've made in the production and this and that. So, you know, it's fun watching you guys play. It's, you know, I get to learn more about the game, and that helps me do the commentary, which uh, a lot of times I'm the only one here to do it. So. Might as well try to do the best job I can, even though I'm just, uh, you know, not a very good player. So. I'm just still quite knowledgeable of the game, though. Thanks, man. I've never actually got a chance to see you uh, play. I've seen you hit a few balls, and I'm pretty sure you know what you're doing. I can play a little bit, but there's, you know, there's no way I could ever play a guy like you or even Chris or anything. You know, I'm just, I'm just a uh, uh, production guy. But in return, though, it's you pick us, it up. Do, us doing what you do is. Everything, anybody can do anything they want. That's what I believe. If you believe in yourself and you, you can do anything you want, this all started from an idea. One little idea. Well, I must say it was a great one. Yep. It's, uh, and, you know, people like JR, who have the vision that he does, and uh, he's a great dude. And he's, you JR know, has is never absolutely let me down. phenomenal. He is a phenom in this industry here. Yeah, he's never let me down at all, so. 
And not to mention, uh, JR is a great player uh, himself. Uh, was a tour pro for many, many years. Used to work with Paul Motti. Yeah, uh, yep. Q Maker. Yeah, uh, JR's got quite some uh, amazing stories to tell. That's right. We need to get an update on the score. Our score Three. is four games to one no, in favor that. of Jackson Jeffries. We, uh, we're digressing into story time. You missed a game there. We're uh, we're into story time, man. We're in our own little world here watching this match. And then Jackson just looked over at me and said he's a little bit shaky up there. Oh, the cameras. They'll do it to you. They'll, They'll do it you. to you every time. Pretty nervous out there playing on the cameras, huh? It's pretty brutal or what? People that have done it numerous times find their comfort zone in it. Uh, I've been on the camera quite a few times myself, and uh, I still have the butterflies every time I'm up there. Yeah, you never know who's watching, dude. It's so much easier to be uh, in the booth uh, doing oh, what yeah. I love, and it's. Uh -huh. Well, you're doing a good job, so I'm happy to have you here, as my co-host. It's my pleasure. Look forward to it at every event. Yeah, I just got to keep driving from Cleveland to North Carolina, and I'll uh, we'll be okay. <laughs> I'm getting seasoned, man. I'm getting seasoned to the driving. If I listed off the places that I've driven to this year, it'd be quite a list. It'd be a lot of miles. Nice safety there. Very nice safety there. Uh, putting him on the rail there kind of limits his uh, kicking options of uh, parking the cue ball behind the eight. Fair shot right there. Uh, got a few people talking behind us here. That's probably what you're uh, hearing. Well, that's the beauty of live streaming, man. Like I always say, you get the good, the bad, and the ugly. You have to blend it all together, and this is what you get. And what you get. Nice shot there by Jackson. He bumped into the two ball and uh, gave himself a shot. It's pure though, these screams. There's nothing phony about it. Nothing at all. There's nothing phony here. This and a couple of TV tournaments event. when it went 24 hours straight for days on end, it was, was hours fantastic. Streams, well, we need everybody to keep showing up down here and they can do commentary and be a part of it. It's not us and there's no, there's no line there. You're right in, the, the crowd is, is the stream whether it be on the chat, whether it be here at the tournament. Everybody's input matters, so remember that. And we're actually not doing the uh, chat uh, this week. No, we can't see it. Internet speed is too slow. So the room owners out there, I've been saying it all day. You want to have streaming done in your rooms? Make sure you have high-speed internet. What a nice shot there by Jackson. He actually massed around that ball and was able to cut it in and hold the cue ball for the four. Fired that ball in with authority. And look at this. Bumped the five up. He got up. perfect on that. Absolutely perfect. And I'll tell you, he was playing to go into those balls. I don't think he was quite sure what was going to happen once he did. Uh, it turned out very nice. Okay, it's been a long day today, but tomorrow's going to be even longer. Uh, really? That's good. A lot of players left. Uh, tough bracket still. That's good. That's my new response to everything. <laughs> That's good. I'm going to play hard tomorrow and That's hopefully good. I'll walk away with another uh, nice finish. Uh, That'll be good. Just like I did last time here.
fed the pocket uh, ball. And you see how short that ball came. Now, none of the other tables in the room are playing like that. Really? It's the lights. Look at this. Oh, man, he hit that so nice. Do you see that ball what roll off shot. and then roll into the pocket? Great shot. All right, we're going to hit a commercial here. Man. Four games to two in favor of Jackson Jeffries. For those of you just joining us out there, uh, I'm David King, along with Alvin Nelson. Hello. Inside Pool Magazine. Uh, you can check us out at insidepool.tv. Insidepoolmag.com as well. We are in Sanford, North Carolina. We are. The last tour stop on the Great Southern Billiard Tour of 2010. Yes. Uh, 35 events this year, and we had an awesome Christmas dinner thing, turkey thing. That was great. Really wasn't good. It? Yeah. I don't know. Karen had a lead on six to three earlier. One thing I can say, uh, Shannon has traveled over 40. Thousand miles nice. this year for this tour. That's that awesome. Runs. I love traveling 40,000 miles in one year. I did like 23,000 in two months or something crazy. Wow. Not in a car, but in over the airplane. Everything. Just overall travel. Right? Yeah. That's, I went to the, that's a lot of miles. I went to the Philippines and back, and then I went to Dubai and back. All the way down to Fujira and back to Japan, and then halfway across the. It was pretty wild. It was pretty wild. Let's see if Chris can manipulate this nine ball, which he has done. Okay, he's Close bringing the it gap up. a little bit. Bringing it up. The score is now four games to three in favor of Jackson Jeffries. So he's on the comeback. This guy's the comeback kid, I can tell. You know, the first time I met Chris was in this very pool room. Plays. Yeah, we had to play each other uh, in the uh, one loss side. Right. Uh, great match. Yeah. Uh, I had the uh, fortune of coming out on top, uh, and we have been friends ever since. Uh, traveled a few places together. Uh, all in all, I've had just a great time. Uh, Seems like a nice guy, nice kid. About 23, 4 or something like that? Uh, he's actually, I believe, 28. Oh, 28? Okay. One in the side, made the corner ball. Or did he miss the corner ball? He did miss the corner ball, but he made the one in the side. No, he has a shot on the two here. Uh, yeah. It's not the easiest of shots by no means. Yeah. And position, he's really going to have to take what he gets. He's probably going to run into the three ball if he pockets this. Yeah, he hung it up in the pocket. Hung that ball up. Mm -hmm. 